Welcome back to La La Land on CRN Digital Talk. I'm Brett Chafin. That's Daisy Egan. We're joined today uh, by actor slash singer, uh, Mr. George Went. If you have any questions <laughs> for oh, my, George. My boyfriend says that George needs a closer camera. Uh, camera uh, or, or uh, microphone? I can't camera. move the camera, unfortunately. We can't, we can't zoom in. Um, I, we'll try it on the break. If you have any questions for George, <laughs> make sure you give us a call at 1-800-336-2225. 1-800-336-2225. I don't know how to zoom it, actually. So I bet I do. I, maybe you do, or maybe Paul Madrid can come in here during the break and help us out with it. Um, so we were talking during the break about the blood. All the good stuff happens during the break. It does. It totally does. <laughs> we just, it was crazy what just happened during the break, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> but we were talking about the um, the blood situation in Reanimator. It's a messy show. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. Um, you know, more blood is better. And uh, Stuart is, uh, you know, I guess there's a term, Grand Guignol or something. Uh, G-U-G- <laughs> G U I G N O L. Anyway, it's French. <laughs> it's it's sort of a um, you know just too much blood, um, and uh, Stuart goes for that. I won't. I don't want to give anything away, but there there is a soliloquy toward the end that happens with a reanimated body part. It's. I'll give it away. Oh, okay, no. do it. Do okay, it. You know, it's it's uh, you know our our lead more or less. Uh, one of three leads um, is uh, being strangled by uh, a large intestine. Uh, a reanimated a re- large intestine. A reanimated large intestine by the, a guy who he has beheaded. Uh, the intestine uh, leaps out at him and sort of does a boa constrictor thing, all the while thumping blood. Uh, Spray. Which gets all over the audience. <laughs> and, that is uh, awesome. All over everywhere. The frankly. first, the very first shot. Of blood. I was in the fourth row, and the very first shot of blood came right at my face, <laughs> 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 like right well in between done. the people in front of me. Right nice. at my face. Right. It's anyway, awesome. I can't but wait to go. It's hilarious uh, music and lyrics. I mean, the the uh, it's a pastiche of uh, all sorts of musical styles, and um, the lyrics are just hilarious. They and are, and very the offbeat performances are phenomenal. Yes. Um, yeah, it's a great. Great group, Graham Skipper. Uh, He's awesome. Is uh, <laughs> plays Dr. Herbert West, the role immortalized by Jeffrey Combs. If you're a fan of the movie, uh, and he is indeed the reanimator, mm-hmm. and uh, he's he's quite uh, gives quite a performance. And Doctor, who is it, Doctor Doctor Hill? Hill is so Jesse Merlin. Yeah, he's funny. amazing. Yeah. yeah, so funny. I know. I never saw the movie, so I don't know. All I know is there's a there's someone has his own head yeah. involved. That's uh, Doctor Hill. He yeah. gets beheaded by Herbert West, and uh, I hadn't seen. I haven't uh, seen it either. The, the latter awesome. part, you know, the last third of the show, he carries his head around. It's quite an effect, too. <laughs> it's really great. Yeah, the effects are um, so much fun because uh, about half of them are absolute genius, and the other half are like coat hangers and bubble gum yeah. you know it's like ridiculous dummies and you know like um, the visual effects awesome. are great the sound is excellent yeah we my friend uh genevieve and i saw the show together she's in jersey shorcicle with me and we were just astounded over just this the tiny little sound effects that happen and the <laughs> the light is great i mean it's just great it's a great yeah. show i can't recommend it highly enough there's a cat there is a, t- a cat. <laughs> <laughs> there is a cat. Speaking of sound effects. Uh, yeah. Make sure to check it out at the Hayworth Theater, guys. Oh, is yeah. there a website That's people can go to? Yeah, Reanimator the Musical, I think. Dot it, com? it has its own website, I think. It, you know, if you Google it, I'm sure. I'm I don't sure. know if it's yeah. dot com. But we'll post a link on that to our face. On cool. A link to that on our Facebook page. Yeah. As cool. well. What is the um, blood made out of? I don't know. A um, s- lot of it is... The stuff that gets sprayed in the audience is is soap based. Oh, uh, so um, that's nice. It's like liquid uh, <laughs> detergent uh, with um, I don't know what Just kind of um, red stuff. Yeah, food coloring of some sort. But the stuff that is on stage is um, t- tomato juice, oh. red dye number two, <laughs> um, and I have to have that. You know, in a pack in my mouth yes. a pack the size of a water balloon you know like uh, out it comes and uh, wow it's uh 
goes down my throat. It's Ugh. rotten. It's horrible. How, how th- one thing I also noticed about the show is is the harmonies are so complicated. Was it a difficult score to learn? It's really it's quite uh, quite a sophisticated score. It really um, is. It's uh, you know the so many shows just go with the uh, girl group pop music, and um, those are really super fun. But uh, this one's kind of challenging. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's even more than Sondheim, I would say. Yeah, it's along those lines. Yeah. That's a bold statement. More than Sondheim. Mm-hmm. Guys, if you have any questions for Mr. George Went, make sure you give us a call at 1 800 336 2225. 1 800 336 2225. Or tweet us Lala Land Talk. We'll be back on Lala Land with Brett and Daisy on CRN Digital Talk.